In this video I'm replacing my uh, Weingart Sensar uh, RV antenna with this King Controls uh, model OA8000 which is actually a, a retrofit antenna and the cool thing about this, if I can zoom in here, is that w this antenna includes a bracket that uses the standard Sensar mount so you don't have to uh, drill any uh, holes or remove anything from the RV roof, all you really need to do is to pop off the sensor antenna and pop this one in. So it's going to be a real quick and easy uh, replacement. So we're going to replace it and see how it works. Prior to replace the antenna, we're seeing a signal strength of 57 on our monitor here on channel 20, which is the maximum signal strength. When we open the box, uh, here's what we have inside. We have instructions. We've actually got the antenna itself, and this is a 12 volt uh, power supply, 120 to 12 volt wall transformer, and that would plug into this if we were going to need to use 12 volts uh, from here. Now I should say that, like most RV antennas, this antenna has an amplifier that's built into the antenna itself, and built into this little box. And the way it works is the coax comes from the um, antenna down into the coach and plugs into this little adapter and it's just a uh, it's got a female and a male and this also is where you plug in the 12 volts so what happens is 12 volts runs up 12 volts dc runs up the coax and powers the amplifier in this antenna and then the signal runs down the same coax uh, into the uh, TV system. So basically the coax is being used for a dual purpose here. It's being used to power the amplifier from a DC perspective and it's used uh, to transmit the signal from a uh, signal perspective or from an AC perspective. Well what else we have in here is we have a universal bracket. So if you want to mount this uh, on something other than your RV, say you want to mount it on an antenna at your house, and here's these parts go along with the universal bracket and here's what the beauty is this bracket here is what adapts the antenna to the uh, sensor the Weingard sensor system so here's where the two um, square tubes of the um, antenna mast go uh, so basically you just pop off the sensor antenna and pop this one on well the contents of the bag that this uh, bracket comes in um, we got four screws and luckily they give you a couple extra spare e-clips. Now these e-clips uh, are existing on the Weingart antenna but they give you two extra spares um, so it's kind of nice because uh, you know I can just imagine how easy that's going to be to lose one of those things if they go flying. And then they give you a little dielectric grease uh, so that you can help make a uh, waterproof fitting and then also it looks like you get a, a a spare connector which we probably aren't going to need. Well I'm installing this bracket and right off the bat this uh, and I tried it on a couple different uh, holes this this little screw here is cross threaded or it's a bad threads or whatever so you know I'm they're not impressing me to begin with right off the bat and you know this is just typical made in china stuff so um we'll see if we can get this threads fixed on this because i don't know if i'll have a i don't really have a big uh, selection of metric hardware so we may end up having to run up to the store so i've got the wine guard lowered where it's easy to get to and uh now what i have to do is remove those uh two um those two little, there are two little shafts that are on Eclipse as well as the coax and then I can pull the wine guard antenna. Well this is what I mean by the Eclipse. Uh, there are little clips that go around these little studs and that's really the only thing that's holding that antenna on. And as you can see we have the old antenna off. Well you can see the difference in the two antennas. The wine guard to the left is much larger and the jack to the right uh, much smaller so uh, remains to be seen how well it works so uh, next step is to 
finish the install, then we'll try it. Okay, the new antenna is installed, and um, one interesting thing is that this antenna is actually 45 degrees in orientation. Now this one, uh, the f actual front of the antenna is uh, to the right, and with the old one, the front of the antenna would have been forward. So this thing actually turns uh, 90 degrees to the clockwise of the old antenna. So let's power it up and go inside and see what it looks like. With the new antenna, we're seeing a signal strength of 64 on channel 20. We were about 57 before. 10% maybe, maybe 10% difference. So whether or not this is going to be enough to make a difference, I have no idea. But, you know, when you're in the fringe, maybe every little bit helps, I suppose. Well, here it is. Uh, here's the new antenna uh, in place of the wine guard antenna. Actually, it was about a five-minute job, really. It wasn't very long. It's just uh, getting the ladder out and taken care of probably took as long as anything else. So anyway, uh, you know, I'm getting a slightly stronger signal. So hopefully, um, you know, that'll make a difference.